Hey guys, thanks for joining me once again. Some great footage again tonight. Now, I got laughed at at one point on my asteroid video for talking about crystals in the sky. The blue light that you see here, that's around the moon. The ring around the moon is caused by the refraction of moonlight, which is of course reflected sunlight. And it's reflected sunlight from ice crystals in the upper atmosphere. Uh, the shape of the ice crystals results in a focusing of the light into a ring, so we can see that ring around the moon. Stellar winds. Another thing that fascinates me, what are the causes of stellar winds? We talk about ejection rates and speeds of stellar winds, and they vary with the mass of the star. In relatively mass stars such as the sun, our sun that we know of, the winds are caused by the sun's extremely high temperatures because they go up into the millions of degrees, obviously, into the Kelvins. Well, we're looking at massive, massive, massive installations throughout the entire surface of the moon that people are not recognizing. If we were to be standing up on the surface of this moon amongst all these high walls that you can see there and all these, I mean, just look, just look at everything on the surface. The more we zoom in, of course, the whiter it seems. We're at 700 zoom right now. It's not easy to get, especially not during the full moon, to get a bright, uh, sorry, to get a, a proper um, view of the surface. It's not an excuse. Uh, of course, I'm not an expert, but uh, yeah, it is very hard to properly get an image during the full moon because it's a lot brighter. But here, look at the elevated levels. And this is what I can't specify enough. In the dark regions, it descends to other levels, and it's where I'm finding all these cities. And look at uh, the exquisite surface. The closer we get in, the more we can see detail of these different levels. And as we're panning here and we see these patches of white areas with bumps, well, those bumps are actual structures. Look at the unnatural lines here leaving there still don't know what they are. I know there's some kind of corridor for sure because they're uh, going from crater to crater. Here again, cities in the spotlights where you see all these patches and the bumps. It's where I zoom in. It's where I get structures. But from here, it's an all other view. But you can still see something's unnatural about the surface. But you do have to get in. And it's what I'll be doing this week. Trust me, I got about 10 or 12 areas that I'm zooming into right now. Here again, another light with um, these strands or corridors leaving from them, going to other lights. A lot of activity. We're looking at activity right now, and yet we can't realize it. And as I said, standing on the moon, looking back at Earth right now, you would see gray. We can't see color in space because of the spectrum of our eyes and by looking back at earth if everyone that's working there right now on the surface of the moon also has higher rulers keeping secrets from them they do not know more that we are here because they can't see us either they see gray and clouds it's but they don't know it's clouds it looks like what we're looking at right now here are strands look at the lights it's just incredible the the surface detail, the closer you get in, that you can see. Notice coming up here, you can see, aside from seeing all these crisscross lines, of course, corridors, I call them, 
for now. Look at the lights here and pockets of smoke, possibly, possibly, I, I don't rule it out, pockets of smoke because in space, like I said in several videos, um, what I researched about is that the smoke will actually, if there um, is zero gravity, of course, remain in a circle, no matter how long it burns and will uh, burn off as CO2 energy if um, uh, if the moon does have a little bit of atmosphere well then how would it react these are all things that I imagine are a part of uh, the research to finding out the truth about the surface of the moon and exactly how much atmosphere there is down there there's talk about the helium now uh, and not just now is that it, it's been a while but I mean I'm trying to look at all the possibilities and people are throwing me some information out there and hey thanks everyone for the heads up it's really interesting and it's bigger than just uh, it's not one little uh, area we have to research it's many areas all right guys look at the buildings that just came in top middle they're gonna leave the screen soon top middle top right they're leaving, you're gonna to have to back that up to check that footage. I'll pan through this three or four times during the video. Massive complex, massive installations, no jokes. I never really liked the full moon nor taking footage of the full moon. Hey, look at this, look at this down here. Why? Because it's so illuminated, it's very hard to get the surface. Now look at the surface here. Railroad track like long strands hundreds of thousands of miles long or massive roads corridors whatever they may be they're unnatural they are not natural 